This is the gathering of the umbrella body of the Nigerian Bar Association. They have converged on Abuja to deliberate on ways to strengthen the existing electoral process in the country. But first, INEC Director of Voter Education and Publicity, Oluwole Ozazeuze, reeled out a number of challenges faced by the Commission. And for him, such challenges include the lack of power to prosecute electoral offenders and internal crisis within political parties. These, he claims, are serious issues that must be tackled. But I'm allowed to tell you the dilemma we face. I'm allowed to tell you that there are Forms 48 and 49 flying around. Every, on a regular basis, I receive Form 48 and 49. I'm going to commit you and your officials to prison for disobeying my order. But in disobeying your order, I'm obeying another order. And when I obey that order, I disobey yours. So I have, I'm running risk either way of ending up in prison. That cannot be good for our jurisprudence. That cannot be good for our society. It hampers the smooth administration of the electoral process. It started like a joke. We had it in Delta in 99. Anambra has been perennial. Now it has affected, it affected the AD. It affected also, also what people term smaller parties, although we don't recognize smaller big parties. For his part, Deputy Senate President Ike Kurimadu assured the gathering that the Senate will come up with legislations that will help address the fears of the Commission. Ikwerimadu charged the lawyers to do more at ensuring nation's democracy is sustained. The Independent Electoral Commission should invite political parties, at least not, not later than 30 days before the election, to come and inspect what they intend, the papers they intend to use to ensure that the logos are properly placed and ensure that the names are properly written. Going forward, we also make taking steps to further consolidate on these reforms and address observed lapses. And I'd like to take a few of them. One is the early primaries. There are many jurisdictions in both mature and emerging democracies to learn from in this, res this regard. Primaries for presidential candidates in the United States of America, for example, start about 12 months to the presidential election. It is ultimately climax with a convention, which is more of a coronation and celebration of an already emerged candidate. Cl closer home here in Ghana, the constitution and electoral laws of the Republic of Ghana are silent on the time frame to conduct presidential and parliamentary primaries. In Nigeria, the opposite is the case. Primaries are rushed, campaigns are shallow, and conversations are mundane, while some parties and their candidates shun debates outright. In such circumstances, the electorates are unable to, to sound candidates out on their mouth watering campaign premises, especially how they intend to forfeit them. For the chairman of NBA Abuja chapter, INEC is doing a credible job with reference to just concluded Undo and Edo elections, but feels it could perform better. I think INEC as an institution should be strengthened to perform its role. We have um, challenges, but I'm impressed that um, INEC understands that the deployment of technology is key to their success and I think that they are going in that line and all we need is um, to strengthen the regulatory um, provisions and INEC will deliver on whatever mandate we have. INEC um, will do well and INEC will still, there's still room for improvement but I know that one thing is sure from the processes in Edo and Ondo State that we're on the road to improving and for me that is a big mileage. Political watchers are of the view that more is expected from the electoral body than it has done. But it is left to be seen if the commission will perform better after the electoral reform presently going on in the National Assembly. Our bio me, our Kimbola, PTV News, Abuja.